Welcome, viewers, to a chilling journey into the shadows of the late 1800s in Austin, Texas. Picture a burgeoning city, teeming with cultural diversity, its rapid growth painting a vibrant backdrop. Yet beneath its robust facade, a malevolent force was stirring, one that would etch a dark chapter onto the pages of Austin's history. This malevolence took form as the Servant Girl Annihilator, an enigma that has left historians and true crime enthusiasts perplexed for over a century. This unknown assailant wreaked havoc in the heart of Texas, leaving a trail of terror that would forever haunt the city. The victims, mostly servant girls, were brutally murdered, their lives snuffed out in the most heinous manner. The community was left reeling, consumed by fear and confusion. The servant girl annihilator left a trail of terror with at least eight confirmed murders, predominantly targeting servant girls, shocking the community and baffling law enforcement. In an era devoid of modern forensic techniques, the authorities faced numerous challenges in solving these crimes. Picture a time when fingerprints were not yet recognized as a crucial piece of evidence, DNA profiling was unheard of, and crime scene preservation was barely a concept. The investigative tools were primitive, limited to rudimentary autopsy procedures and witness testimonies, which were often unreliable. The Austin Police Department, still in its infancy, grappled with the enormity of the task. The crimes were shockingly brutal, the victims' bodies often found mutilated, causing widespread panic and fear. Despite their best efforts, the authorities were unable to prevent the killer from striking again and again. The lack of concrete leads added to the frustration. The killer left no trace, no definitive clue to his identity. He was like a phantom, appearing and disappearing into the shadows of the night. The perplexing lack of concrete leads would ultimately contribute to the mystery's endurance. Numerous theories have been proposed over the years, with various suspects considered, including local citizens and even accusations against a few prominent figures. Theories abound, from the plausible to the downright bizarre. Some point to a lone, deranged psychopath, while others suggest a conspiracy involving the highest echelons of Austin society. Several suspects were considered, such as a local butcher with a violent past, a transient worker with a suspicious alibi, and even a prominent politician with a dark secret. Each theory has its merits, its tantalizing hints of truth, but none have provided a definitive answer. Was the servant girl annihilator a local gone mad, an outsider preying on the vulnerable, or a pillar of society hiding a monstrous double life? The evidence is weighed, the possibilities explored, but the truth remains elusive. The servant girl annihilator remains one of the most enigmatic figures in criminal history, a shadowy presence that haunts the pages of Austin's past. 